Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. I'm a little late to the game on this video. This is the video where we are to show off our American-made knives. Um, this started back on Independence Day, July 4th, uh, 2019. Here it is almost the end of July before I'm even getting started on it. And this probably won't even show up until August. Um, it was hard for me to figure out how to do this because I've got uh, well over 200 American-made knives. So I was trying to think of a way to uh, get that number reduced to something a little smaller. And so what I decided to do was go with uh, my five USA-made Barlow knives. And that's what this video is going to feature. And no doubt this is partly inspired because of the uh, Case Barlow that I recently picked up. I've already done a video on this one. It's the uh, Peacock Bone Case Barlow. It has a uh, spear point main blade and then a secondary pin blade. Um, and what I liked about it, besides the Peacock Bone handles, is the uh, double X uh, stamping on the large Barlow shield. Um, the cool thing about Barlow's is the fact that, uh, especially the standard Barlow, the three and a half or so inch Barlow, actually they come in anywhere from three and a quarter to three and three quarters of an inch is long, it seems. But the cool thing is, is the top uh, uh, bolster, which is about a third of the length of the uh, handle of the knife. That's typical of a Barlow. And uh, I already talked quite a bit about the Case Barlow before and I actually have a video on Barlow knives as a traditional pattern which goes into more detail but there's my case this is the latest one that I picked up and really do like it um, on the opposite end here we have uh, one by Colonial uh, and this is in their Scrimshaw series which let's face it this is not Scrimshaw at all this is just pad stamped on there but you can see why I picked it up because it's got the uh, fish jumping on there and everything else. But the blade actually says Scrimshaw series. Uh, this is not carved in though, which is kind of funny. But this is uh, obviously a very much an economy brand uh, knife. Um, and I believe it has 420 uh, steel blades, so nothing really expensive. It's one of the older knives, but you see there, Colonial. Uh, Providence, Rhode Island, USA, and typical of many Barlows, it has Barlow on the uh, on the uh, on the top bolster. Well, the only bolster really. And this has the more common blades you find on a uh, Barlow, which is your uh, clip uh, main blade, followed by a pin blade. And this one's very stiff. I really do need to uh, break it out and oil it. But, uh, you know, white plastic handles, probably, uh, you know, some kind of thermoplastic uh, imitation Delrin kind of thing. And it's white. But, it, you know, these were probably in the um, $10 range back when they came out. Um, they go for around 20 or so now. But uh, that's my Colonial uh, Barlow, one of the economy Barlows I have. And made in USA. It's the only uh, USA made economy Barlow I have unless you think the Camillus is also an economy. And speaking of the Camillus, it's right next to it. And this one is only about three and three eighths of an inch long instead of the uh, three and a half inches long. Nice uh, bolster up here. Unfortunately, Camillus decided to put a uh, shield in the uh, handle instead of putting Camillus on the bolster. Of course, that means that uh, if I wanted to do something with the bolster, I would be able to uh, engrave it myself. Um, features a saw cut bone Delrin, and you notice the exposed pins there, kind of big ones. Um, you got your um, stainless steel back springs and your copper liners, and typical blades you find on any other uh, Barlow out there. You've got your pin blade. Oh, you know, let me leave that open for a second. And then the clip blade. Notice really good half stops on this. 
And also, if you notice, you have uh, full brass liners, which is what I always like on it. I love it when knives fall into their own channels and they're not um, sharing a channel with another blade. And that's the cool thing about the Barlow. It's a really cool jackknife. And this one, if we can see there, really interesting that it just says Camillus made in USA. I think these are some of the last Camillus uh, Barlows that were ever made. So probably dating from around 2007 or so. But it's still pretty solid, well-made knife. And uh, really happy with that. Let's move over to Beer and Son. Now, these were made after the Camillus factory closed. It's uh, on a three and a half inch frame, I believe. Um, but it's also on uh, made from old Camillus tooling, which is kind of interesting. And if you notice there, You've got Eagle, the Eagle there with the BSA in there, Boy Scouts of America. Again, I wish uh, Baron Son would have also done something with the bolster. Uh, they could have put official Boy Scouts of America knife on there or something. But you see the stainless steel back springs and uh, the uh, copper spacers and liners. And it's got the, uh, what some people call frost wood, uh, the laminated wood, which is in a uh, green, yellow, and red. These were supposed to be red, white, and blue. It just did not come out that way. Um, in any case, blade choices. Once again, you've got a pin blade with a half stop, just like on the Camillus. Very good, strong half stop too. And then the main blade with the, uh, let's see here. We can get that to show up there. Uh, probably have to take an inset picture, but there we go. Official Knife Boy Scouts of America, and you see Bear MGC USA very clearly stamped into the uh, the handle there, or into the uh, the tang of the knife. Uh, really good action on it. This was cherry picked. Um, not crazy about uh, Bear and Son, but um, after Camillus closed, Bear and Son got a contract to make uh, knives for the Boy Scouts of America. And one of them they made here was this really cool uh, Barlow, and it's uh, really an excellent knife. They also had these made in China too, but uh, got the Baron Son um, uh, Barlow here for the Boy Scouts of America. We already talked about the case one, so let's move over to this one. And that's my queen. And if you see here, IKC on there is for eye knife collectors. It was a club knife. Uh, I picked up, it's in the, uh, uh, I think it's the orange smooth bone, I think they call it. It's really nice bone though. I um, believe this has 1095 carbon steel blades on it too. Um, if you notice, um, the liners on here are stainless steel, but you have uh, the, uh, the back springs are, uh, I believe, 1095 carbon steel also. And once again, we're dealing with a... Uh, main blade uh what if you see there queen uh and usa um main blade is a spear blade and the secondary blade is the ever popular horn cliff blade and like the um like the uh, case knife here if you notice, the uh, main blade is up front on these, uh, both the case and the queen, with the secondary blade in the back, which means um, the nail nick for the secondary blade is facing outward. Whereas on the other uh, knives, typical of, uh, of most uh, Barlow's, uh, the secondary blade is up front with the main blade behind it. So nail nicks are both on the front side of the knife which actually makes it easier to me for it to operate. So I wish uh, both uh, the queen and the case had gone the route of the typical uh, Barlow's and put the smaller uh, blade up front so that you could operate both from the same side because you really need them basically turn the knife over and open it up. And uh, same with this one. Um, really cool thing for me as a lefty, um, I like the fact that nail nicks are on the front side of the blades usually because um, it means that I have the knife in the hand that I'm going to be using it with 
and I'm opening the blade up with the hand that I don't need. So I don't know why they did that. I guess it's so that people will be opening the knife with their right hand. But uh, for us lefties, it's kind of cool that they decided to uh, put the nail nicks on the blade the way they do because it really actually works better for us. In any case, um, there's my USA made uh, Barlow's and because there's five of them, I can also put this in as one of my uh, five knives uh, videos. So this will be a look at five Barlow's, Colonial, Camillus, Baron Sun, Case, and Queen. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.